Counter-Strike 2 is facing a horrible cheating problem. And this has been ongoing for the last couple of years now. Hey guys, how's it going? It looks like right now it's just a horrible time to be a fan of Valve games. I just want to quickly show you an example of what a cheater in Counter-Strike 2 does look like. And this is it. They they have the free will to be able to spin bot even in game and the whole vac band system doesn't do nothing it's almost like the vac band system is not even there it's like it doesn't even exist because it doesn't hardly detect any cheaters when they're clearly doing something that they're not supposed to be doing if you and your whole entire squad gets wiped out by a single bullet at the beginning of a round it's like the energy has its eyes closed and pretends it didn't see anything i am for one does not have a full understanding about how a anti-cheat system works but something like this should easily be detectable by its system. This ruins not only the competitive side of the game, this also ruins the casual experience for players because newcomers who get into Counter-Strike and they launch out the first casual game immediately running into cheaters within their first time playing the game. An issue like this into a multiplayer shooter can definitely ruin its lifespan. And if nothing gets done in the near future, Counter-Strike 2 could potentially face the same fate as its awful, as his neglected brother, Team Fortress 2. It doesn't help either that the whole nature and environment of this game is supposed to be a serious competitive multiplayer shooter. If you launch up a competitive mode of this game, the game makes sure that you accept the terms and agreements that you are locked in into at least a 40 to an hour long game session without quitting. If you quit, the game punishes you for quitting the session. This is how these hackers have an advantage over players. If a cheater is caught in the competitive game mode, which is also known as Premiere, the innocent players who are just trying to play the game competitively are now held hostage by the hackers. And if you ever played Counter-Strike Competitive, you know how awful it is to be round 5 into a game and then suddenly have to go against an opponent who is cheating mid-match, ruining your ranking system. And this is what it causes a lot of pro players, even a lot of other content creators, wanting to just turn away from Counter-Strike entirely because the neglect that they're receiving from Valve about trying to update this vac band system is getting tiresome. This is almost another same issue related to another game that Valve owns known as Team Fortress 2. In Team Fortress 2's case, it is much more severe when it comes to doxing and the botting issues that go on with that game. Luckily, Valve does actually care a little bit more about Counter-Strike 2, only for the reason that the monetization value of Counter-Strike 2 is severely higher than TF2's. Counter-Strike 2 generates millions for Valve, if not billions a year. Now, I know that might sound a little over-exaggerated, but all the neck-scratching gambling addicts and unboxing YouTubers are the reason why Valve makes millions off of CSGO alone each year. I haven't even touched upon the economy of Counter-Strike 2, and yes, it does have one. Each item in-game, a lot of the rare exclusive items, can go up to the $1,000 ranges. Skimport has over probably a million dollar worth of items just on this website alone. And yes, each one of these items, knives, keys, cases, you name them, skins, can go up to hundreds and thousands of dollars, which generate Valve a lot more revenue. Now, I, I really do love Valve, man. I own a Valve Index, and Valve, I have so much respect for growing up, but just seeing the way things have been going on for the last several years, I'm starting to lose respect for the way Valve is doing things now. I know they're a million dollar corporation, I know they have a lot of other ambitions, and I'm sure they're doing a lot of other experiences and trying to run Steam. I know they're super busy with other work pro and projects. Deadlock is another upcoming uh, hero shooter that, that has already been leaked, funny enough. Now this is another game that I find that's pretty ironic for them to be working on. Valve, if all of your other multiplayer titles are completely unplayable, what makes you think that you're still going to have the reputation of wanting to bring players into another game that you're producing you need to go back and fix all of the problems that your other i game ips are currently facing if you want to have the same respect to be able to make this new game blow up because everybody is aware that dota 2 and counter-strike are probably your most successful ips and franchise i would don't really want to see counter-strike go up the same route as team fortress 2 i love counter-strike as much as i love team fortress 2 they're actually the only two multiplayer games i play. I honestly can't wait to see the way things are going to go with Counter-Strike 2. Maybe in the near future, if nothing gets done for another year, I would like to see the, the Counter-Strike community get together to try to get Valve's attention like the way the movement is going with Team Fortress 2.